Good morning, everyone. We are back to it. Look at this trailer. Sand everywhere. I don't really know. I picked this one up empty. Uh, so, leaf blower. <laughs> got to clean that out real quick. And we've got us a load headed to Iowa. So, they got us to work right away. Nothing wrong with that. Had a nice time at home. Always enjoy a little bit of time off. But, uh, Time to get back to it, make a little bit of money, see what happens over the next month or so. We'll see, we'll see. So I'm gonna get this done, talk to you guys soon. Good morning everybody, back to the road. Uh, not in the truck, five minutes, and I already smell like a trucker out there sweating and now I'm covered in sand uh, from cleaning the trailer, so hell yeah. <laughs> right back to it. Um, yeah, you know guys, every time uh, you leave the truck, um, and come back you always forget something always and uh, this time I forgot my pillow uh, so I just won't have that so uh, just getting a little paperwork ready I think this is a preloaded trailer which would be awesome if we could just get into town and uh, get it that would be really cool um, I think it's preloaded. They gave me a trailer number to pick up, but as you know with trucking companies, uh, sometimes communication can be uh, lacking. So I think, I think it's loaded. I don't really know. Uh, so picking up in Denver, Colorado, getting my paperwork ready. And uh, U.S. U.S. I don't know what this means, but that's what it is. And we're headed to Iowa. All right. Sorry about the brakes, but we're getting everything ready to go. I just need a pickup number now and I will be on my way, on my way. So let me just put that in there. Eight, five, three. Six zero six and one more number, guys. One more number. Hang in there with me. Seven two seven zero eight nine six five, and we are ready uh, to go pick this up. So uh, yeah, I'm trying to get the AC running already. Uh, get me cooled off. Already had a look around the truck. Everything looks good. Ready to go. Got all the food put away, but uh, not not really anything else. <laughs> See, it's all just uh, laying back there. And of course, we've got us a full 70-hour clock. How about it? How about it? So we're about to go make us some money. We're about to go make us some money and see what happens out there. So had a really nice time at home. Always nice to go home. You guys know that. Um, and I got a whole shitload of days to certify on my logbook. So we'll just go through that. But uh, yeah, had a good time at home, of course. Um, it was too much time off though for my liking. So I got home, I guess, Wednesday. So we had Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. Um, of course, I like going home and I like seeing the family. Nothing about that changes. Uh, but about day three, um, all the time for me, it's time to um, get back to work. Right around day three, it's time to go back to work and uh, go make some money and uh, do it all over again, you know. Uh, unfortunately for me, uh, this damn trucking is in my blood at this point and uh, I just don't know what to do with myself for a while after I have uh, gotten out of the truck. So that's kind of where we're at, you know. Um, had a couple uh, really good live streams. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Um, got a video, just one video. Um, but hey, that's the way it goes. Um, but that's really it, guys. So I'm going to finish up getting ready to go here and uh, head down and get this load picked up. And we are going to hit the road again. Get out there and uh, see what we can do. So talk to you guys soon. All right. We're loaded up. So see what we got here. Just want to make sure that's all good, ready to go. What a road. Did you guys see this road? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I call this a road. Look at that mess. Anyways, 
and you get these slid forward up zoom out and we're about 44,000 pounds so we definitely need to weigh this absolutely but hey we're ready to go on our way to Iowa well folks we're getting settled in again hey look I got my game going over here huh lineage 2 anyone play it's old it's like 20 years old but it kind of plays itself these days so I've got my little dark elf running around just killing stuff while uh we get ready to have one of these dang sirloins here got the foreman brand new ready to go little uh paper towel in the drip tray there that way you don't have much cleanup and all i got right now is some brazilian steakhouse seasoning let's see what's in it oh that's not it sea salt spices black pepper paprika jalapeno uh fucking forgot where i'm at Parsley, garlic, onion, red and green bell pepper, citric acid, and malic acid. And that's what we're really here for is the malic acid. That's the flavor you want right there. So, hey, you know, for now, it's home. <laughs> oh, I picked up some, some gators. I picked up some boots. Or, I don't know what gators are. I have no idea. But my little guy... He's, you gotta, sometimes you gotta help him out. Like, here, run towards all these guys over here. And then once he gets locked on, right? Once he gets locked on, then he'll go to work. I guess I'll show you. Why not? Why not? Okay, he's ready. He's ready. And there we go. Now he'll just kill for me. <laughs> gotta love it. Gotta love it. That's what we're doing today. All right, what's up guys? How you doing? So we're back. We've got a microwave now right behind you. I had an extra one at home. Uh, but the, um, what am I trying to think? I'm trying to think something. The uh, power behind the microwave is just one of those round like cigarette lighter. And I've got, you can't see it, a power plug. I don't know, a power plug for the microwave. I'm like, well, now do I got to rearrange my extension cords and figure out how to get that <laughs> to work in this truck? But hey, you know what? It's all good. We got us the microwave now. We've got food in the truck. Uh, we've got us the foreman grill that I've never used. I'm about to throw the sirloin on here after I'm done hanging out with you guys. I forgot to pull it out of the freezer earlier in the day, so it is rock solid. But hey, nothing that foreman won't break through if we need to brute force our way in there, right? And <laughs> that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. So, um, let's see. Let's see. We're back on the road. Uh, I wanted to take a few minutes to uh, thank you guys. Uh, and I sincerely mean this. Uh, it, on the internet, it's easy to be judgmental and hateful and all these things. And um, there's a lot of you that are really getting excited about my sprinter van vision that are like, oh my God, when are we going to see this happen? Uh, I had a guy like, dude, like you could probably have it within a few months. He's reaching out saying, I'm excited to see the progression. And when you do that, and uh, I've gotten emails, hey, check out this email on this and this and that. And I think it is super, super cool of you guys to be uh, that supportive. Um, a lot of a thought is going into this obviously um you guys have seen me do things like spur of the moment oh i just put 12 grand down on a truck here we go again you know but obviously i mean the fact of the matter is i don't have that kind of money anymore it's a complete rebuild phase right now just trying to get everything back on track but i don't mind because i like the challenge um sometimes during that other period in my life where uh, it's, it seemed like I could do no wrong for like at least a year straight, right? And everything, everything I did produced money. Honestly, that made it too easy, right? I get to sit back and I get to relax and I get to look at solutions and I get to work it out, right? And that may be better. I can go into it more calm, collected, higher understanding of what's going on but um i just there's there's no way around it i just love you guys um it's the internet has evolved you know it um used to be this really sorry my game had a message on it it used to be this really awful place where everybody would just you know 
yell your mom at you from halfway across the country, right? And slowly over time, and I don't, I'm not gonna act like I'm not guilty of this. Come on now, I've been using the internet since it's been around, you know? God, dial up when I was a teenager. What were you, around 30 years now or more? of the internet being widely used and it's not like i've never been a shithead on the internet you know <laughs> trust me that's not true but um it's that's the point it's just much easier to hate and much easier to you know root for someone's failures and things like that and to you know, build a cool community that's just excited and supportive and wants to see me at least try this. I can't thank you guys enough. I think it's really, really awesome uh, that, that I'm seeing this kind of support. I mean, people are getting excited about it um, and that's cool. It's gonna be a while. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's gonna be a while. Um, and I mean, in that same thing, like it's possible I'll change my mind but the more I think about it, I'm starting to think I probably won't. But, you know, we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, I think I mentioned uh, that, you know, I, I discussed with my wife, like, maybe getting a, another truck, semi-truck instead. And she just kind of straight up shot down that idea, which is good. I, I'm glad that she did. Um, and she said, just go get the van. She said, like, you know, you're... you're you, you like trucking, you like being on the road, but she said, you're getting older, man. And uh, you, need, you need those freedoms that like a van will bring you. Like if you just wanna go somewhere and have a good night and unwind, then you should be able to do that. You've given your life to that goddamn road. Um, <laughs> and, and you should be able to at least enjoy the time you spend on that road now. Now I don't necessarily like hate trucking or anything like that, but I am starting to see that there's just a lot of really in, in, big inconveniences about it. Um, interesting thing kind of happened today. I don't know if it's it was a real thing or not. Um, I have, uh, I don't want to call him a friend because that would be a dick move. We used to be really, really good friends here on YouTube. We were really tight. Um, unfortunately had a falling out. I, I wish it never happened. Um, and uh, he has been trying to figure out a way to give away a semi truck that he has and a trailer, right? Like what's a fair way to do this giveaway? I don't fucking know why. I don't understand why he's doing it. Um, but uh, he, he told me today that uh, I could have his truck and trailer and I don't know how serious he was about it, but um, I gotta be honest with you guys. I watched his video where he said that if he's going to do this, he wants to give it to someone that's going to use it to, you know, build that trucking business and things like that. And I told him straight up, if you, if you gave it to me, I would just turn around and sell it. And uh, then I would take that money and put it towards my actual goal right now. Um, so if you don't want me to just sell it, don't worry, I would be thankful. Don't, don't think I wouldn't be, I would be thankful but I would be using it as a way, not out of transportation, but out of the truck. And uh, that's what I would do. <laughs> so I told him, why don't, if there's plenty of people that deserve a truck, like to give away a truck. I don't know, I can't speak for him. I don't know how serious all of this is. Um, it sounds pretty serious though. But I told him, you know, uh, since you're giving away a truck and you're giving somebody like this awesome start, um, give it to someone that deserves it more than me. You know, somebody whose heart is in trucking and uh, give them that business opportunity because I'd love to, I'd love to take it, uh, but it'd be out the door, uh, cash in hand, and uh, I'd be putting at least the down payment on that Sprinter van because it's a little bit older truck, I think like a 2000 or something like that. Uh, so I don't know what it's worth, but I thought it was interesting, but by all means, uh, yeah, give that to someone whose heart is in trucking and they want to build um, a trucking uh, empire or what, what have you, what have you. So not a whole lot more going on around here, guys. I'm trying to turn on this light. There it goes. There it goes. Um, I am back in the truck. Um, I don't really feel any kind of way about it. They've got me a load to picked up in Denver, going to Iowa. From Iowa, I'm going to Illinois to go back to Denver. From Denver, I'm picking up a load to go back to Iowa again. So it's just a whole week um, of uh, just running I-80. Can't be mad about that. It's a good time of year for it. If it was winter time, I'd be like, what the hell are you doing? But winter time across Nebraska isn't always bad. It has its moments, it sure does. 
but uh, not all bad, not all bad. I'm planning about three weeks on the road again uh, before I take a weekend off. Um, and uh, you know, we just kind of go from there. That's kind of where I'm at with everything. We just kind of go from there. Um, but I, I do appreciate you guys so much. I, I honestly feel a little bit um, overwhelmed with all the people that are excited um, about this this idea um, because um, it's not like I'm a victim of the internet or anything like that but it's like so easy for everybody to you know hate on this guy trucks and be like that's a dumb idea I hate you I, I want to murder you or whatever it is we do on the internet and to see like this amount of people actually excited about it is a uh, is is very cool i just i just can't get over that i can't get over how cool that is so i'm hoping now because you guys are motivating me it's like okay all these people are excited i can't let them down i can't let them down i, I gotta and, and i mean if my plans change they change right but it's just it adds extra motivation so many people excited to see it and I, you can tell I was serious because I went to a dealership. I have social anxiety. You think I'm going to go talk to a, a car dealership? That shit scares the hell out of me. I told my, my wife was with me. Like I kept her and the kids off the camera, of course. But I, I told her, I said, don't let this guy talk me into buying a van today. I said, not that I have a down payment anyways, but they'll, they'll pull some stuff like, oh yeah, no down payment, no payment for 90 days. And if they pulled that out, I'd be like, oh God. What do I do? I would just I would just go home with a van. <laughs> That's what I would do. Um, but uh, I said I told her, don't let me do this today, okay? I need you to like not today, motherfucker. <laughs> so uh, that's kind of where all that is. But um, I'd say if we can stay the course and uh, keep building the channel, and you guys keep coming back to watch the videos and hang out with me within the year within a year not within the year because it's already june so don't hold me to within the year but within a year we could really be uh talking about doing that and um hey that's when we'll really i think by then we'll really start to know what our economy looks like we'll start to get a clearer picture is this a good idea right now do i just hold on to the money all those things all those things so as you can tell there's a ton of stuff racing through my head right now um and uh, I've had a big channel on YouTube, as most of you know. I have had a big channel on YouTube. But this is honestly the first time in all my years on YouTube that I've uh, felt this kind of support uh, from my community. I mean, just so many people excited to see it. I mean, I've had, there were, there were times, guys, and some of you saw it where I'd go do a live stream for like two hours and make like a thousand bucks in, in two hours off of super chats that happened a number of times. And that was really cool. Obviously I appreciate it, but just watching you guys get excited about, um, the, the potential and what all we can do with it and how far can we go. Um, that honestly kind of means a lot more. So, um, I'll be excited to share it with you as that journey happens. This right now is part of that journey. I don't know how long I've been talking. I kind of been rambling on, but, uh, this right now is part of that journey. What we're doing now is setting up for that. And, um, I'm happy you guys are here <laughs> is the point. I'm, I'm happy you guys are here. Um, it's hard to find that, you know, it's hard to find that. And for an old trucker like myself, that has been in these damn sleepers for the last 10 years. Um, YouTube was kind of a cool outlet for me. And then when I started to see the, the negative side of it, I obviously questioned, do I even want to do this anymore? That's why I deleted the old channel. And, um, it just, it's nice. Thank you guys. <laughs> so, um, I don't know what else I got. I'm going to sit here and play my game and eat my steak, uh, get some good sleep, get up in the morning and, uh, bang out those miles. I did 500 today, but it was starting to get late in the day. Um, so I, uh, shut it down. It's like 6 PM or something. And I was getting close to Lincoln and Omaha and all that. And I didn't want to, you know, 
being a mad dash for a parking spot. So we'll get up about 4 a.m. We'll hit the road. Uh, I got to find that motivation I used to have to get my 10 hour break, get my ass down the road and uh, get right back to it. Cause I seem to have lost that over the last couple weeks, uh, but we're doing it for a reason. There's, there's an actual cause now there's motivation behind it and God damn it. We're coming back, baby. We're coming back. It's going to take time, but fucking thank you all. Thank you all. Just the amount of support I've gotten from so many people recently is just absurd. I Absurd sounds like a negative word, but I promise, I promise it's a positive word in this case. So I'm going to talk to you guys soon. I got a steak to cook. Bye now.